Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're going to talk about interfaces. Interfaces are like super functions. You get all the benefits of a function with some added perks. The two biggest benefits to using an interface are flexibility and the fact that you don't need a cast node or specific references to call them. So let's modify our coin collectibles to use an interface and then we'll make some new actors to demonstrate the flexibility. So if you guys remember here, if we open up our coin actor, when we overlap our coin actor, we're casting to our third person character and then we're running this add score function here from our widget. And if we look at one of our enemies here, if we open this up, we're doing the same thing here. On overlap of our enemy, we're checking to see if it's our player with this reference here. And then we're taking away some player health and calling this function in our third person character. And what we're going to do today is replace all of this stuff with an interface. So if we right click here in the content browser and go to blueprints, we can see blueprint interface here. And we'll call this overlap player. And we'll double click here and open this up. And you see this looks like a function graph editor, except it's read only. You can't do anything in here. Um, except we need to do one thing, which is create an output. Otherwise, this interface won't work. So you could just click here and leave it as a Boolean, maybe name this success or something. It really doesn't matter. And we'll hit compile and save. And that's all we need to do here in the overlap player interface. You can rename the function here too. Overlap player function. And that's all we need. So we'll just close this out. And then we need to go into our actors that we want to implement this interface. So our coin and master enemy, for example. And if you go up here to class settings, you'll see a little tab that says interface. So we're going to need to add an interface. And we'll look for overlap player. And now you see an interface pops up over here underneath the functions. So if we double click here on this interface, it opens up a little graph editor that looks just like our functions. And what we're going to do is come into this event graph. And instead of having this overlap event in the cast node, what we want to do is just simply add this score and destroyer actor. I'm not going to rewire the whole thing. I'm just going to show you guys as an example. We'll have a print string in here. And I'll just say, coin collected and we can compile and save that and now we can go into our master enemy and same thing we would end up rewiring all of this stuff we'd put it into an interface so if you go here to class settings and click add and we'll search for the same interface overlap player And now we can double click on this interface here. And we'll just print a string. And we'll call this damage player. We can hit compile and save. And now we'll go into our third person character. And we'll click on the capsule component. And we'll scroll down till we get to these events and we'll click on the second one which is on component begin overlap and here's where the interface saves you a lot of time and efficiency instead of having to take this other actor and cast to our coin and see if it's our coin and then we can call functions from our coin like overlap player function you can call this directly Instead of having to deal with this cast node, and if this fails, maybe it was the enemy, we'd have to cast to master enemy and hook this up like that and do the same thing. We would have to call a function here and click anything, right? We can get rid of all of this with an interface. So all we have to do is from this other actor, we can search for does implement interface. 
and this is going to be a check. You don't have to do this, but it's a good idea just in case you want to do something if an actor that doesn't implement the interface overlaps your player. So now we can search for overlap player. And we can hold B and click, left click, and we will get this branch node. And if this actor does implement this interface, which means if the actor does have an interface, the overlap player function as an interface here, then we'll just be able to call that. So you can drag out of here and say call right here, get overlap player function message. And this is the one you want, which is the message. And all this is going to do is basically ask if this actor blueprint understands this interface. That's it. It doesn't care what kind of an actor it is. It doesn't care um, if it can overlap the player, anything like that. All this is going to do is say the player overlap this actor. And if this actor can understand this message, then it will know what to do with that. So we don't need to have a cast node at all. And now if we minimize, we hit play, and we come into our level, you see when we overlap these coins, it says coin collected, which is what our interface was doing. And now we went to the next level, hit play, and I believe this one is going to kill us. Yeah. So let me give our player a little bit more health. Say 500. And max health will be 500. And now if I run into one of these, you'll see it says damage player. And our coin says coin collected. So we did all of that with an interface. Instead of using cast nodes and references and having to create a lot of different functionality um, off of these overlap events, we can now have one overlap event stored in the player character, and we don't need overlap events in the individual collectibles or enemies or anything. And that's one of the um, best benefits of having interfaces. Now, obviously, in a real game, this would be a lot more complex. You can do all kinds of things um, within these functions if you want power-ups, if you want level transitions, anything like that. And you can script that within an overlap or within an interface that just checks to see if they're overlapping the player. So um, that's basically the gist of using interfaces. I hope you guys thought that was helpful, and if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for more tutorials. Alright, see you guys later.